Spring is one of the most important times of the year for moisture in the Black Hills and hopefully staving off dangerous fire levels. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sidney Thorson talks with fire officials and a rancher to explain how the recent snow will help in the months ahead. Thanks to all of this snow, scenic fire chief and local rancher Charles Maud says the fire danger is low. So we're, we're setting pretty well so far for the year. Um, it is definitely what we needed to see after the last two dry years. Our recent storms are also helping his ranch. The last couple of years, there's a lot of dirt blowing around, things of that nature, erosion happens. Um, and that's what we make our livelihood on is produce, taking grass that's produced on the land and, and converting it to, to food for the people. And, and if we don't have moisture, that doesn't happen very efficiently. While things are looking better, the area could still use some more moisture in April and May. Coming out of 2022, we were definitely in a drought and we've had uh, well above average precipitation across nearly all of the state this winter. And that's been, it's been awesome. We needed the moisture. We need to fill the stock ponds and the rivers. Uh, but of course, we got to think about it in terms of wildfires as well. It's going to grow a lot of grass, uh, keep that herbaceous material uh, growing through the early summer months and, you know, potentially dry out to burn later in the year. Uh, sure better not quit on us, otherwise we'll be right back to where we were. Looking at our summer fire season, which really runs from, say, July 4th through the Labor Day weekend, uh, we really need to assess moisture in May and June for that period. The moisture that we're getting right now isn't really going to impact our summer fire season as much. So again, going forward in the next couple of months, we'll definitely see uh, what the potential will bring for the, the later summer fire season. And as the temperatures rise in the Black Hills, peak fire season is right around the corner. Local fire departments in the area are urging everyone to continue to be fire cautious. Even though we've gotten plenty of snow, it doesn't mean a wildfire can ignite at any moment. You need to be aware of the weather. You need to be aware of the surroundings that you're in. Uh, not be careless with anything that causes any kind of a spark anywhere across western South Dakota. It's just good common sense to have that. Have some type of basic uh, firefighting to whether you have an extinguisher with you, whether you have a shovel or a rake, something that you can immediately stop anything from taking off. By being fire cautious, you're not only protecting yourself, but all of the first responders and Black Hills ranchers, including Maud. Uh, so it's something that it's really everybody's responsibility to be fire cautious because it isn't just the damage that could potentially happen to you, the loss of life, but it's the damage to other people, to crops, to livestock to infrastructure, to housing, it can have a huge impact and, and uh, can really uh, put, our, uh, put our economy into a spin. Even though it's green, certain plants will still burn. And um, that's, a, that's a key point at any time of the year. Um, you know, just uh, as it goes into summer, uh, stuff starts maturing. Um, the fire danger just creeps up even, even on a good year. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. And fire danger levels can increase by the wind speed and the drought-like conditions in that area.